to try to push it, so it could cut into pieces. Then you have to push it in here, so it could work. I'm in the CBC now. <laughs> My name is Rachel Dubois and I am employed by People for a Healthy Community. We are a partnership organization with Gabriella Elementary School. Um, the kids come over every Friday in gardening sessions at 30 minute intervals each class. So last year was our first Apple Day event. This is our second annual. We're going to hopefully keep it going each year and make it better each year. It started with just uh, donated apples from the community and kids using apple spinners, apple pourers, apple peelers, uh, paring knives, uh, showing them to layer them in dehydrators. Um, I take all the dehydrators home after this and then we eat them in our garden sessions when they come back and uh, hopefully the weather will be good and we'll still be gardening all through November. Um, and then we take a break until spring. Uh, we're cutting apples and making applesauce. Yay! And apples have you cut it? Uh, I don't know, I don't care. Oh. Here you go. Just kind of give it a twist. What do you no, say? no, you don't have to turn that first. My name is Erin Champion. I'm with Farm to School BC, which is a program of the Public Health Association of British Columbia. Uh, I work in the Central Island region and help uh, organizations and schools connect to build food literacy in the region. Um, People for a Healthy Community and Gabriel Elementary are a wonderful partnership because they, they help the students at Gabriel Elementary bring um, food literacy outside and into the classroom. So it's been a wonderful opportunity to learn about the program and also uh, be involved in some of the, the events that People for a Healthy Community has been organizing.